Hey, Puffer Boy, what's your plan? Plan for what? Your place in the competition. You said you had a plan to get far. Uh, yeah, that. Well, my plan is to first team up with someone, friendly. Once I do that, I'm sure to have an ally who can work with me through this, and most probably have an alliance with that person. After that, I need to find a friend group to be sure to have an alliance and get far. Who knows, maybe that friend group will be useful in finding info about number five. Yeah, you do that. Say, does Red Pen know you're gonna be here? No, I just ran off. Good. That means I won't be locked up in here anymore. I can't believe she did this to me, even when I was supposed to help her. Yeah, I don't get why you'd still want to help her. She's brutal. Oh, look at you being Mr. Kind and Bubbly. You were with her too! Don't act all nice and innocent now, and say it's wrong! Well, you know what? I can, because I finally woke up from her toxic behavior. And I hope someday you will too. Oh, alright Puffer. Play nice as much as you want, but we both know you're rotten. You can't keep me here forever. I'm your spy. You need me. Not for now. I hope he realized it by now. Hey, so what is it today? Asked May Naylor. Do I need to learn anything about my purpose and how my services are? Well, I do want to ask you, what is this trillionaire's treasure that you were talking about? What is Red Pen planning? Why do you need to be an energy source? Well, I don't know. That's what my creator defined me as. That's all I knew. And you never bothered to ask? I didn't think of it. Did I ask my creator next time? Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't. What? Why? Because your creator is dead. Oh, what's dead? Uh, think of it as being, well, how do I put this? Imagine being deactivated forever. You can't be recharged and that's it. Death. Oh, well, okay then. I guess you're my master, so you know best. Hey, AI! Oh, sh deactivate. Okay, bye bye now. What was that? I was just practicing my, uh, deactivation code. Yep, my deactivation code for my console. So, it's a console with voice commands? What is it for? World domination. Right. So, I wanted to ask you how you've survived thus far. I mean, to be honest, you aren't exactly the best or most competitive contestant. What helps you keep on going? Just the thought of the trillion and how far I've come, I guess. What about you? I just think about how I can beat Chalice. Oh, and uh, get the trillion. Yeah, that unimportant part. How'd you even get in the competition? Well, I think it was from a lorry ticket or something. Pretty sure we all got here in different ways, including someone I seem to forget. He was in the first episode, but we never saw him since. But then you showed up. How did you get here? I was around in the right place and right time. I guess Gear saw my potential or something. <laughs> sure, sure. Oh, you're back. Did you get what you needed? Well, I suppose you could say that. It wasn't quite what I wanted, but it's definitely something. So you see, I originally traveled to test out the energy sources, as I told you before, but I found something even better. I reattacked the city and I found this substance and a bunch of little weaklings trying to protect it. So of course, I stole it successfully and I will apply it to our, my newest edition of our army. Newest edition? What? Oh, I was talking about those weaklings. Later, I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna kidnap them, and I'm gonna use the substance I found in their lab on them. Do you know what the substance could even do? Are you trying to doubt my scientific knowledge? You know I can kill you in the snap of my fingers, right? Aight, whatever. Still got the plans for the finale, though? Yes, I just finished the blueprint of the Revenergy staff. What it's supposed to do is suck the energy out of an object, returning it to its original size, and removing what basically gave it life. The energy will go into the staff and give me more power, and that will make me a lot tougher and stronger at the very same time. What if it doesn't work? And it makes you weak and suck your own energy too? Ha, very, very funny. Like any of my inventions I've ever failed. What about all those who are number 5 and number 6? They definitely failed. No, 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 no. You're mistaken here. It failed because at the time, I was working with single brain-celled AI, and he didn't do anything useful. So without him, I can succeed and crush him like an ant on the way to. Maybe that's just what I'll do. Yo, where are you going? You just got here. I need to pay a little visit. 
What a poser. I heard that. All right, who now? Let's see, we got boring juice, wooden sphinx toy, pissy lighter, bottle of weird liquid, and white hat with stains on it. Do we really have to use these nicknames? I mean, do you remember their names? Um, yes. How can you remember Pump, but not the names of the people you've been trapped in the same box with for like the last year? That's not important right now. Let's just go to the bottle of weird liquid. Ugh, fine. Let's go to Potiony then. Hello, Potiony. We need to ask you a couple of things. Hmm? What will it be? Do you know anything about Asthma Inhaler? Ah, well, you see, I didn't really know him. I kinda... I do. Ooh, T. What do you know about him? Well, he is a really good friend of mine. He always talked me out of situations whenever I was stressed. Literally every time before elimination. I don't know why, but I have- Okay, look, I could really care less about your little sub-story here. Do you know anything important about him? Well, I do know that he's John of 3's friend as well as mine, but other than that, I'm not sure. Wow, thanks Sherlock. We never would have guessed. Let's just go. I feel like blueberry juice would be a much better option. Hey Seab, is the Red Devil back? She was here, but she left again. Paying a visit or something. Oh great, now I don't need to worry about my head getting cut off. What? Why's that? Well... The hell? I might have lured Vane into the forest with my powers and exactly to where our base is. Wh what? I haven't been in the forest for some time now. I wonder what could be here that might help me get to the finale. I mean, last time I was here, I was asked to cheat. So I wonder what might happen this time around. Granted, I was invited here last time, but- Oh my god, did she ever stop talking? What? Who? Oh, uh, talking bush here. Nothing to be afraid of. Okay, whoever's doing this, you better come out of your hiding hole and face me! Oh, hmm, let me think about it. No, if you want to know who I am, you have to follow the voice. Oh yes, let me fall a complete stranger into a dark place. That's always a good idea! Alright then, you asked for it! Okay then, Cotton Brain. I'm so in trouble now, right? Seriously, does she ever shut up? Tell me about it. Now get her in. We have some time to eliminate her before anyone notices and before the challenge starts. Come on, come on, pick up. Yes, AI. What is it this time? It's like the fourth time you've called today. Look, I'm really sorry, and it must be really bothering you, and I'm probably being extremely annoying, but I'm just- Worried? Yeah, dude, you said that in every call. Well, it's just tough without legitimate friends here. What about Chalice? Aren't you two friends? Well, not anymore. Right. How about Vane? Maybe try to connect with her somehow? You two seem like you can have a good friendship. Don't you think it's too late to try and make friends? I'm sure she sees me as competition more than anything. AI, literally no one sees you as competition. You're always really close to losing and- Thanks dude, I appreciate the support. Look, AI, I'm sorry, but I really cannot do anything to help you with that. I'm in the middle of somewhere and- Holy sh- Journal, what's going on there? She's here! She's here! She's here. Journal, you're losing signal. Help me! Help! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me. Journal, are you there? Well, AI. Ah! I guess your friend couldn't really run from me, huh? What did you do to him? Why? Well, unlike you, he was a threat. I just hope next time you'll see him, he'll be in pieces. Leave him now. See you at the finale, AI.
I can't wait for your reaction. No! I need to get a plan, and I need one fast. Oh, you're finally awake. Ch chicken bucket? What the actual- Oh, and of course, Rainbow Jelly Brain Cells is here as well. Says the one who was stupid enough to get trapped in here. Jari, SB. Oh, you're back. Well, what the hell is this? Master, I just found her near our hiding spot, and we realized she knew too much, so we got her in here. Yeah, did you want us to let her go with free info? It could ruin everything. Look, I really don't have the time for this. I need to test out project number seven. Oh, I should have known you were behind all this. You and your little soldiers will be out of here once- Yeah, yeah, we get it, Airhead. Let me do what I need to do, and death will release you. Haha, <laughs> I- Feces? Maybe you should stop talking from time to time. Now's my chance! Uh, red? One more syllable, and you'll be out of wings in your bucket! Jari, go. The challenge will start soon. So, Epsi, I know that now you're a part of the creature captures. Yeah, we've been discovering some weird stuff. I mean, there's so much to unpack. First... Hey, what are you two going on about? Uh, should she know about this? Oh, thanks. Like, that doesn't make it suspicious. What can it be that you two need to hide it from me? It will just be better for your own good. You don't want to get into it. Really, Potiony, you'd be better off doing whatever you need to do now. No, I'm not leaving until you tell me what the hell is- Hey, so, is the meeting still going on? Why are you blushing? Okay, that was a nice chat, bye now. What is she so nervous about? It doesn't matter, I'll talk to her later. Now, FC, tell us what we missed after Clapboard's elimination, since she filled me up till that point on. Well... Where do I start? Um, as a summary... Milky died from an unknown explosion. Jari and Chicken Bucket are on Red Pen's side and are most likely being controlled. We found someone who used to work with Red Pen. Journal 3 got eliminated. Me and AI found out that gear isn't actually gear, and the real gear is frozen in a basement somewhere where there are past show contestants that Red Pen and AI used to torture. Yeah. I understood... nothing. I'm... what? I can't believe Jerry and Red Pen are working together! That must explain all the strange behavior and levitation! I can't believe Jerry is so weak she fell into the claws of that scientist! The hell? Why can't I move? Hey, Jerry! You're still alive! I was sure she was gonna kill you like she did to your mouth! You wanna fight dirty, huh? Oh, just be aware of your position, glass face! Oh, Windy Cloud, save me! Jari, you win. I don't know how you couldn't possibly think of that before. You know, I never thought anyone could play Puppet Master on you. I thought that from the moment you changed your attitude, you were controlling it. But it turns out, you're still weak, pathetic, and dependent on other people's powers to lift yourself up. 
So even if you do end me now, would it really count as your own victory? Oh Thank me later. We've got a challenge to do. Oh, by the way, here, figured you're gonna need it. Thanks. Couldn't really do that myself. How does she know about her? Ugh! I really need to be at the challenge by now! I'll figure this out later! I'm not sure if you're safe being here, ACR. I don't want anyone to find out about your existence, as they may use you for bad things. Bad things? What's that? Aren't you like a supercomputer? You should know what things mean. Ooh, I know what some things mean. I can tell you what about the meaning of toxic waste, geography, toys, the answer to your existence. I can also tell the time. Now it's time for the energy source test. Excuse me? Energy source test has already started. It's from Proj7. And that's why the weather is funny. Deactivate. Aye aye, Captain. What was that? Oh, uh, I was just trying to make the rain disappear. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, sure. So, weird weather we're having. Don't start. They should be here. Where in the hay bale are they? Don't you think something made them come a little late? Don't start. I see you're back in full gear, huh? Can you please remove my mouth again and this time my eyes too? Where's the talkative one? Oh yeah, where is Vane? Vane is right here. Oh, Chalice, I didn't know you like to crush people with trees. You are such a funny comedian. I had so much fun spending time on all those leaves, you know? Ha! Good one, good one. Vane, I swear to the cogs, I will make you shut up forever. Jeez, what's wrong with you today? Wake up on the wrong side of the alarm clock? You should know what's wrong with me. Yeah, you sound like you're mad over something and you want us to figure out why on our own. Okay, I have no energy for this. Hemi, come explain to them what they should be doing. I'll see you after the challenge, scruff brains. Anyways, I'm sure you've all noticed the weather we are having. Say thanks that the wind won't spin your head around. Or just push you away with little to no force. That just means you're weak, AI. And so, with that is our challenge. You see, in each different kind of weather, there's gonna be a ticket to the finale. The ticket will resemble each weather. As of right now, the ticket will look like something that resembles this thunderstorm. It's lightning shaped. Damn it, Gear! Anyways, whoever finds it first has a safe seat in the finale. Okay, now go! Do you think anyone will find it on the spot? Well, by my calculations, the chance of anyone finding it is approximately 0.3 to 25%, considering you are four who are trying to find it, and it's a pretty big area. Besides that, it's now 7 degrees with dangerously high winds that are coming, so I suggest- Jeez, you can be more annoying than vain. I suppose that is a compliment, so thank you. Ugh, where can it be? Why is he doing it anyway? It's for sure that me and Chalice will be in there. How can you be so sure, Rainbow Rat? This all wouldn't have happened if you would have shut up about me and maybe, I don't know, treat me equally like the rest of the Alliance? But you can't make someone like you, no matter how hard you try! Look, I get that I hurt you, but you didn't really help me change my mind about you! I'm sorry, alright? I really am. But we can't go back to what we were! We are way too far gone into this! Just leave me alone! Yeah, run you big coward! Can't face the truth! I don't think I'm the one who can't face the truth! Ah! Who needs her apologies? She doesn't mean anything anyway! Huh? Now what's this? Hello! What the forking rainbows how and when?! Ouch! I think you cracked me a little. What? What are you? I don't... know? I just opened my eyes and I saw you. Were you listening this whole time? Well, I was here when you and the airhead fought. But before that, no. I don't remember, at least. Okay, I'm taking you with me. You're going to help me with this. Uh, okay. Didn't ask for your consent. Alright, ACR, which direction am I going in? Well, right now you are heading southwest. But southeast is right next to us. How did that sentence even make any sense? I can open up a dictionary if you need me to. That way I can show you how it does make sense and how stupid you are. Hey, where'd you learn to say that? I just heard other people say it. Like that rainbow mess over there. Huh? Shh. Is something funny going on here, Prondy? 
What does Prondy supposed to mean? Why do you care? I'd be more worried about your friend. What? This? Oh, no, no, no. It's not real. This is my to-go alarm clock. I thought I'm a supercomputer. Go with it or else she'll break you into pieces. Yep, I'm an alarm clock. TikTok bomb explodes. Right. Well, I'm- Hold up. We're not going to talk about your little friend that's sitting right on top of you. It's just some jewelry. Chill. Weird. Hey, Master, look what I found. It's a lightning-shaped rock. Isn't it so dandy? It's the ticket. Quick, deactivate. Sayonara. Congrats, you now have a place in the finale of BFTD. Say Trill to get teleported and let us know you found the ticket. Trill! What? AI found it first? Whoa, I would have never seen that coming, but Ask My Inhaler now has a place in the final three! So how did you even, like, get created? Do you know how or who? Well, not really. I told you. I just woke up. Maybe it was a nap, or maybe I was just created from something that must have been in the air. What kind of chemical can be in the air to make things come to life? I mean, I did hear of a scientist dealing with all sorts of chemicals that is actually located around here. Maybe it's from them. Oh, let me tell you, it's not. She's not about creating life. She wants everything to burn. Huh, that's a nice feature to have. Well, maybe if she knew what kind of things she has created, like you, she will stop. You really think so? I don't see why not try. But for that, you're gonna have to tell me something. What is it? Where's the ticket? Why would you think I'd know? Because- Because I have it. Ion! Congrats, Chalice! You now have a promised place in the finale! I can't believe I'm against her! Worst battle ever! I mean, you can prove to her in a brawl like this that you can beat her, like you said. Look, the stuff I said aren't completely true. She is right, I can't really do stuff on my own. I couldn't even do this challenge by myself. I had you. Well, Rainbow, I think you are capable of what you said. I mean, you have some strength. It's not like you're completely weak. You told me that you levitated a tree and threw it at her. How awesome is that? I bet not a lot of people can do that. The one who gave me the ability could. But maybe I can become even more than her once I realize what I really want to do with my power. Exactly. Now let's go out to the snow and beat that airhead. I hate snow! The snowflakes always get stuck in my head! And there's a cold and strong wind literally all the time! I shouldn't be focused on it now. If I want to be in the finale, I should put distractions aside and try to find that last ticket that will finally show my efforts! Maybe it's stuck somewhere here. I really don't have anything to lose. Uh, what's that? <gasps> you! No, no, don't worry. I'm not here to hurt you. I was just here to pick up some stuff and I got cut up in all the snow. Pick up stuff? What are you talking about? Shouldn't you be in the Mega Holder? Can you stop asking so many questions? Right, sorry. Anyway, no chance you seem some sort of ticket that's related to snow, right? Uh, what? <sighs> Never mind, I'll just go. Wait, I did find this on one of the trees. It's the ticket! Thank you so much. Whoa! Wow, that is one talented slip-up. Ah! See you later! I've got to get this ticket! Almost there. Come on, Jerry. <gasps> oh, That's not my name! No! Yes! Air! And that settles it. We have our final three. Asthma Inhaler, Chalice, and Vane. Great, now we have her for the finale too. Jara, you're fourth place. Since you've made it so far and since you are so close to the finale, I'm not gonna send you to the Mega Holder, but you're out of the competition. Hey, boring juice. Oh yeah, that's me. Do you know anything about Asmo and Hela? You two were good friends, right? Oh well, yeah, he was always there for me. That's it? He didn't tell you anything about his past? Uh, why would he? 
I never asked him about it. How about you, Flamesy? The only words I ever said to him were when he joined. We never talked since then. Wait, you were the first person to ever see him coming here. Uh, I guess so. All I did was ask him what he's doing here. Okay, Mon. We integrated everyone. We should be in our final conclusion now. Pojani, what happened back there? You saw Clapboard and completely freaked out. Yeah, I... Pink Hat, we need to talk. Sure, what about? I don't know what's wrong with me, Pink Hat. I love Journal 3. I never felt anything for anyone else, but suddenly I get the same feeling I've had with Journal 3. To Clapboard. But... Clapboard is a girl. Exactly, it doesn't make any sort of sense. I shouldn't love her. I shouldn't even talk about this, but I am. I like Clapboard, Pink Hat. I really like her. And I don't understand why I hate myself for it. Uh, how can I love both a boy and a girl? How is that even supposed to make sense? Pojani, it's okay if you are confused and you don't know what is wrong with you. You need to like whoever you may like. Boy, girl, or both. It doesn't matter. You are being yourself, and that's wonderful. But how do I even know she likes me back? This feels like a rare condition more than anything. You just hope for the best. Just know that I'll be backing you up and supporting you no matter what. I'm sure she likes you too. So, now that we have all of that info in one place, we can finally understand what happened to Pump. Alright, so by the looks of everyone's connection to AI, AI either killed Pump to take his place, he kidnapped Pump to take his place, or Pump and AI were both working together. What do you think seems more logical? If it's AI we are talking about, I'd say AI kidnapped Pump. AI wouldn't hurt a fly. What? what the hell? It's so strange how similar the imposter looks to the original. What? AI? What are you talking about? Look, someone is impostering you and is running a show. Same place where BFBD used to be. Everyone was sure it was really you, but we just found you here and it's the finale. Finale, huh? Say, didn't you and Mrs. Scientist do something in the BFBD finale? Well, yes, but- Then we should attack them the same way. They won't see it coming. Oh, count me in. I'm going as Lushy. I'm not sure. I guess I'll join. It'll be cool, Choco. I'll join you. Hey. Peanut and Larimar, how about you two? I don't know, I'm more happy that Peanut is back rather than taking revenge over someone I never talked to. It'll be awesome, just come with. I promise it'll be worth it. But say, shouldn't Poison Can be out too? I'm not sure about that. Last time Poison Can was a tiny bit unstable. Won't it make her a good weapon then? Yeah, but she can turn on us in any minute. We should save her as a last minute plan. Sounds like a plan to me. I'm gonna start building the Minxter! Please tell me you just made that up. Hey Gear, thanks. No need. No one imposters me and gets away with it. Master, I know I let you down by not getting the ticket, but in my defense- You don't have a defense, Jari. What, you stopped trying to reach that because some creature was about to die? That is a pathetic excuse. They expected better of you. Look, that creature was a friend of mine, someone who believed in me, and I believe you're the one who brought it to life too. Oh, is that so? So you, a life receiver, think that my killing chemicals made some sort of weird gem hybrid come to life and suddenly start talk to you? Do you have a better explanation? You are all over this area! Okay, so this isn't why I called you, I called you because you lost! That's literally what we've been talking about! Oh no 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 no, it is not. Until now, it was the blame shifting. But this is about the fact that you lost. Do you know what it means if you lose and get eliminated? Not... not exactly. Remember what happened to Milky? By the contract that you signed when I first met you, you agreed to get killed when you get eliminated. No! Please, Master! I promise I will help you in your final plan! <laughs> Please! If you kill me, you'll have less power! You need me! Fine. You're right. Wait, you're the one who is in control of corrupting? So you made Nuki explode on the spot when she got eliminated? But how? You couldn't have been there. Could I? You know, the strangest thing happened today. I walked in the vein and apparently they're in the final three now. Whoa! That means we 
should be at the main area when it comes. Yeah, sorry. I'm not going there. Why not? Because gear exists. Come on, Fingerprint. You can tell us. You've been really nice, Jelts, for the past few days. Can't you trust us? I can, but it's really embarrassing. Trust me, nothing is more embarrassing than the past me. It doesn't help, Dollar. Look, it's just that I can't show up at the finale like this after I completely change for the better. I finally dropped this mean habit I had. It was my sort of shield for what people think of me. If I go back like that, I'll look weak and just overall a wimp. But you're not! I'm sure people would love to see that you've changed. You are an actual bully for no reason. So if everyone will see how it's not really you and how sensitive and kind you are, I'm sure people will like you. It's great you realize that too. I'm so happy that you dropped that harmful habit. Thanks, you guys. It means a lot just to hear that. What was your past like, though? Well, we kind of got kidnapped and our personalities got erased. All because of that red pen. Oh, you guys, I was at the forest that one time and I heard that she's planning to attack in the finale. We can help everyone fight against her. As a surprise attack? Yeah, it'd be cool, don't you think? If we plan it correctly, then yeah, we can get our revenge. Well, how do you think we should attack? Well, first off, me and Dollar will need weapons. The best we can do is kick. Don't worry, I can get that. Hey Gear, can I ask you something? Do it quick, I'm running out of empathy. Well, I just wanted to know what's gonna happen in the finale. What do you mean? Is there gonna be a challenge? Any votings? Why would I tell you? It's supposed to be a surprise for everyone. But- Good call, you bore me. I'm leaving, see you at the finale. Going. I was about to talk to him about something. What about? I discovered some stuff. Stuff about what? Someone who is probably going to destroy everyone and everything. But it's not a big deal or anything. Wait a minute. You know too, huh? Anything you and your gang planned against her? First off, please don't ever say that again. Second, I can't really communicate with them, so it's just me and you against her. Then what? Hey, Master? What's the plan going to be for the finale? Well, there's you, there's Jari, there's what's going to come out of the journals once I'm done with them, and there's, of course, my proudest creation. Of course, yes. But how do you plan for us to attack? Weapons or... Oh, Seep, you are so naive. How didn't you pick it up yet? You are all the weapons. My weapons. Uh, uh, what? But what if we die from this? You might, but I don't really care. As long as I can get experiment number five back, nothing else really matters. I excuse me, who? <laughs> ah, you are such an easy target, Espier. I should have gotten more soldiers like you. What, what, what do you mean? It's not important right now. It is time for your weaponization. Look, about that, I'm not sure if... What? What's happening? See you in the finale. No, you can't leave me here. Ugh, what a nuisance. Start preparing for Trillionaire's treasure. We have a show to run. Trillionaire's treasure, huh? Interesting. But it will fall flat on its face. These alternate reality shows are quite exquisite. But I have my own plans to finish. <laughs>